Why don't you just make 10 louder and make 10 be the top number and make that a little louder? These guys to 11. Hey, Kurt, thank you for your time for uh, doing this. I've been hey, a no, long my time pleasure, fan. Man. A long time fan. Um, oh, thank you. G- grew up seeing uh, Metal Church, uh, you know, from the earlier days. I'm uh, I'm near Portland, Oregon, so you guys made it down this way often. Oh, yeah, and, we're going to be uh, back up there at the end of September. And you're going to be back there. Yeah, and that's why I reached out to to the folks at Rat Pack. I'm like, you know, they're going to be <laughs> here. I missed the 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 first go round when you guys did press. I know Mark was mm-hmm. – and that's pretty cool that you guys – uh uh had mark out there doing some interviews because i think uh this is uh it's a big thing you know i mean i think the fact that you guys uh have moved forward but not forgotten right i mean you've had a couple fellows that are no longer with us that right. were crucial in the history of of uh metal church but really yeah. i mean uh, mike was such a beloved fellow you know right. i mean i think it regardless of which lineups you favored you could not not like him you know he, oh absolutely yeah yeah and so at what point you know did you you know start considering you know uh firing the band back up and 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 moving forward because I, I know real difficult considering the circumstances yeah, and everything that you happened. know it was it, it was about i'd have to say about three months after mike passed mm-hmm. when it was like all right well okay I, you know i have other projects and other things i like to do and other types right. of music and i love music and all kinds of things but it was like i wrote an album right before mike passed and mike and i had just started the process uh-huh. And, uh, you know, of collaborating, we had just started. And so there was a whole album sitting there. And I'm like, you know what? If we can do this under the radar without mm-hmm. making a big production of it, that we're looking for a singer and right. all that kind of stuff, just in case it doesn't work, just in case it, nah, maybe it's not a good idea, mm-hmm. you know, that whole thing. So we just started, you know, looking around, you know, with people that we knew if there's anybody that m- might, you know, be able to do the mm-hmm. job that we could get along with that might might work. So we tried right. a couple people kind of couple people out and Mark things just kind of developed. Mm-hmm. You know, with him, he just seemed like it just was seemed like a good fit and also he brought a different kind of direction. Right. Definitely got back to the more thrashy right. era. Definitely yeah. back to that, which is like, you know, and, and that's something I wanted to do, too, as far as, OK, if we are going to continue, I'd like it to be a new chapter, mm. kind of something different rather than just, you know, kind of just rehashing what we were doing. Let's do something new. Mark brought that. So, yeah. 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 And so that was kind of cool. So but we just took it one step at a time, mm-hmm. you know, and we got and we're still taking it one step at a time. Right. You know, yeah. And we'll see. So, Yeah. So yeah, so I'm I'm imagining it sounds like you guys had history with with uh, Mark and probably were familiar with his with his work a, with a like bit, Ross the not, Boss not, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, not so much me, but uh, mm. uh, St- Steve were were friends with him. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So so in in just real quick, as far as uh, you know, like you said, maybe try it out a couple people, handful of people. Did you just give them the same songs and just you yeah. know lay down vocals, and then you guys kind of yeah. sat down and kind of like here's did, here's a David yeah. Wayne song and here's a Mike House song. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Do it. Do your thing to it. You know. Cool. Yeah. And you're right. I mean, I think the, the when you said new chapter, this definitely is different. It's like a harder, edgy. You know, like you said. You know, back uh, when I was talking earlier, I had discovered the band early on. You know, during the debut record, um, and it did have that element. First few records, couple records mm-hmm. had that thrash kind of element right. to it, where you guys could be like in the same uh, in the same uh, uh, sentences like Metallica, right? Let's right. say early on, and you did have that uh, that in well, common, even label and even yeah. labels, right? Even the same label and everything. Yeah, we were. It was you know they were our peers, us uh-huh. Metallica, Slayer, Megadeth, yeah. Exodus. We were all. At the same point, playing the same clubs, doing the same thing, you know. Yeah, obviously yeah. Obviously, some things sure. obviously happened, but yeah. You know. Is it, it, I mean, with this new chapter, it, how is it for you that, you know, because I think as 
as we age, you know, sometimes people like listening to stuff a little bit more mellow. I mean, I still like some of this stuff, yeah, you know, but maybe some of the darker metal stuff, I might go, eh, I'm just not feeling it. I mean, it's not oh. that I don't like it, but I'm just not as much into it. Oh, maybe. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> but but for I yourself. Hate, I, yeah, I hate that black metal, satanic, st- screamo yeah. stuff. Yeah, right. It. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. To me. I so I, I, I guess yeah. we can't expect you to change the metal church logo to make it look like a like a, a bundle like, of thorns or something. yeah, or a bunch of kindling somebody threw on the <laughs> right, ground. Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah, no, but, absolutely not. No, I, I, I don't like black metal. I don't like any of that kind of stuff. Um, right. I like the stuff that I initially liked, the new wave of British heavy metal stuff. Mm-hmm. I, still, I love that stuff. I don't listen to the new satanic stuff at all. I don't. Isn't it interesting though? I mean, I, I, I forget who I was interviewing once. I I mentioned Venom. I mean, they uh-huh. that was black metal, but it was kind of thashy, so it was kind of almost kind of cartoony in a way, right? So oh, it wasn't, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And that oh, was awful. that was pretty fun. Yeah, they, they were I awful. Mean, you know, but they were funny. Yeah. They made you laugh. Yeah. You're just like, yeah, yeah. Just you listen to the lyrics, and you're like, yeah, right, right, yeah, right. You, know, you like, couldn't take it seriously. It's not like they were you. You had to like look under your bed as you're cranking a Venom record or something right. like that. Just, but yeah. You won't. But not, for, my, not my bag, never has been. Yeah. But for you, you know, you've gone from the Mike uh, Mike era, you know, where it was it was traditional metal, you know, and and some of it was rocking, like harder yeah, rock. Absolutely. And then hard now rock, you've yeah. now you've moved into like the the you know back to the thrashier, edgier type territory. Is is that kind of where you're at at this point? Because I think it sounds pretty authentic. So therefore, well, yeah, it has to be. At- yeah, that's where I'm at with metal, with metal church, you know, mm-hmm. that with that particular thing that was like, hey, let's let's do something a little bit different. So kind of get out a little bit of the aggressive part, definitely. You know, so that's where I'm at with metal church. I'm still work. I'm working on the new Presto Ballet record, mm-hmm. which is the 70s prog thing, which I love. Yes. Yeah. I love right. that stuff. And uh, then also Hall of Flame is the band I was in after metal church. Right. We have, and, that, we and have that's more of a. Band. And that's, that's more the, of a hard rock, right? That's just rock and roll. Yeah, that's just, right. you know, straight up ACDC, the yeah. cult, you know, oh, just, yeah. yeah. All, just the, all, all the riff oriented stuff. Exactly. I mean, not to, not, not to say that metal church isn't riff oriented, but you know, talking about yeah, the yeah, yeah. big arena it, rock that, type things. Absolutely. It is, you know, and yeah. that's what, you know, and I love that too. So I have to have lots of different outlets, not because I think I'm great at it, just because right. I, I like the challenge and I like all kinds of stuff. I like to be creative and I don't like to be, you know, put into one thing. And I also, you know, if I want to get some, you know, regular rock and roll, yeah, yeah, out, so to speak, I don't want to do mm-hmm. that to metal church because that would be to me kind of inappropriate. You know, right. it's like, leave that alone, do other things, you know, and that's the way the new music business is. A lot of people have all different kinds of stuff going on. And mm-hmm. I really like that, you know? Yeah. And so. you know what, what, what r- number record is this for you with congregation with uh, uh, Rat Pack? Because what yeah, a relationship it, you guys have had. Yeah, it's been great. I, mean, I think it's 13. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I, mean, I know, right? Yeah. And I love what Rat Pack does. I mean, with these yeah. bundles and the extras and the stickers, the signed copies, the guitar picks, oh, absolutely. And all, all that kind of stuff. I mean, it, it reminds me of like, I mean, I'm not so much big on vinyl anymore. I'm more of a uh, CD guy just because of space. But, you know, it reminds me of like when you used to get records, you know, and stuff would fall out of them and it'd be like, oh, look at all this cool stuff. That's uh, I'm a vinyl guy all the way. I mean, I do I had started listening to and rebuying and buying some uh, new CDs, mm-hmm. a lot of the stuff, because I don't want to spend 50 bucks on the vinyl. Right. Uh, the CD, that's that'll be fine for that particular record. But I prefer the vinyl for a lot of I mean, the sound, depending upon how it's manufactured. But mm-hmm. also because of that, the artwork and the posters mm-hmm. and all the stuff that would normally come in it, just the whole experience. Albums aren't too long. Right. You know, vinyl, you know, CDs have a tendency to get way too long. I mean, I still have records that I really like that I haven't heard the whole thing yet, mm-hmm. you know, because there's just too many songs, you know, like right. if you took Dark Side of the Moon and added another 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. It, it wouldn't be Dark Side of the Moon anymore. Sure. You know? You know, well, that yeah, could, that, and that reminds me of, you know, when they were, when labels started pushing the CD and it's like, now you can have like over 70 minutes of music, but it's like, well, if they added that much, minutes. yeah, I mean, sometimes yeah. if you push more than when, the, I, I kind of like the traditional eight, 10, yep. maybe 12, 
tops you know I like and, i like the good 20 minutes aside and if it's more mm-hmm. than that it's a double album yeah, yeah. right well it, and with with a uh, congregation of abomination you know lots of great uh, annihilation i'm sorry yeah. annihilation but um, that's the next album yeah well, well there we go <laughs> be, be, uh, there you go so, hey see um but making making monsters for me is uh one of the highlights uh oh thank you uh, mm-hmm. well, tell me about that particular tune because I guess I can read into it, but yeah, I didn't write the tune and I didn't. Yeah, write the I, well, lyrics, I didn't write yeah. the lyric. I didn't write the lyrics on this record, so a lot of that stuff is speculation on my part. Where Mark, oh, yeah, yeah, so that was kind of nice to kind of step back and let somebody else kind of do something. Uh, my understanding, making monsters, is more about how, especially uh, as we're learning now, the the a lot of stuff is coming to light. You know about you know, lies and how deception and things like that. And what happens is, is when you do that too much, you do start making monsters, you know, you're making people out of deception, you know, and, and there's just a whole, it's, that's a very oversimplification, but that's kind of what it is making monsters when it's not the truth. You know, Mm -hmm. you have a tendency to make a lot of problems, you know, so. I know you guys have already done some live shows. I I caught the uh, tour co- co-headlining thing that you guys did with the uh, Armored Saint, and what, what a what a fantastic night that was. I mean, it was like it was like you know, you guys went toe to toe, and it was like man, both both bands were on fire, killer yeah. set list, no filler. I mean, wow, yeah. um, they were great. And, I love those guys. Yeah. yeah, and and you know and wow if to see that again that would be awesome you know you guys pairing up because uh, it, it is a good pairing and and yeah. a great bill um but you, i know you guys have done some live gigs here recently i haven't even looked at uh you know any of those set list websites because i kind of just don't want to know but yeah how how deep do you guys want to go in on the on the new record you know i think oftentimes we, we, we play a, a couple of... so, we play a okay. couple songs but mostly what we're doing is is now with with Mark in the band. Mm-hmm. We're, we've gone back to more of the uh, or the David Wayne era stuff. Where with oh, Mike, wow. we obviously did a lot of the Mike Howe sure. era. Mm-hmm. You know, a couple of the required David Wayne, but we've kind of shifted. So we're not playing the same set again. We're doing some okay. deep cuts. You know, wow. off the first two records, and uh, you know, having a lot of fun doing that. So that's kind of the oh my god mindset of the new of the new album. I mean, of the wow. New, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And you're right. I mean, I think as you listen to Mark on this record, you're like, wow, that'd be kind of interesting to hear his spin to some of the David Wayne uh era yeah. stuff. I mean, yeah. thinking like and he does a great doing, job with it. Yeah. And thinking him doing ton of bricks or burial at sea or uh, yeah. You know, I mean, I don't know if those are gonna be in there, but uh, wow, that yeah, would be yeah. fantastic to have those in there. Um yeah. you know, early on, I mean, with you guys, you built a uh pr- uh pretty tight relationship with Mark Dodson and Terry date who went on to do, you know, a lot of work with some of the guys that you just mentioned that are contemporaries, you know, Pantera, Anthrax and, and all those guys, Mm -hmm. how did you guys meet them? And, and, and what, what uh, was a contributing factor in that long lasting relationship? Because you guys had a history with them forever. It seems. Yeah. Terry, Terry was the staff guy at Steve Lawson studios in Seattle, where we did our first record. We just, okay, it was time to make our album. So we just went in there and he was the staff guy and we got along so great. We just continued to work with him. Uh, Mark Dodson was brought in after we got signed and, you know, the label wanted a bigger time producer type guy, you know, and we liked Mm -hmm. that, but we kind of went back and forth with Terry and Mark, Mm -hmm. you know, they Mm -hmm. had different approaches to it. So, yeah, I mean, it, it just worked. We just liked the guys. We liked what they did and, you know, we became friends. So, you know, and obviously they all went on to bigger, you know, bigger and better things and all that kind of stuff. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, it was just kind of it was just kind of circumstantial. Yeah. So it just right place, right time kind of thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, nice. Do you still keep in touch with any of those guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Mark, not so much lately. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, Terry, I talked to about six months ago. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what, what a, what a, what a discography that guy has, right? It's oh, like right. You go down yeah. the list and it's like, wow, he's worked with just about everybody. He's kind of like yeah. Andy John's kind of territory anymore. Yeah, you know, exactly. I mean, it's just crazy. Um, you know, I've always wanted to ask you this. If I ever ran into you, I was going to ask you about the uh, video clip for Watch the Children Play. I mean, pretty eerie, you know, yeah, that, what an awesome 
uh, tune. I mean, it's just kind of like enters kind of the dark ballad -y type territory, but not really. You know, right, it yeah. almost reminds me of kind of where Metallica went later on with the Black album with, you know, mm -hmm. with with some of their slower tunes and stuff. Where where was where was the video performance stuff for that shot? Oh, that was all shot at the Moore Theater. No, that's like, what I was going to yeah. think. I was at Moore yeah. Theater. Okay. Yeah. Nice. We went, you know, we used the stage. Obviously, we also went through the basements and all that kind of stuff. There's all kinds of weird underground stuff in that building. Yeah. You think it's haunted? I mean, it kind of looks eerie to me, I think. I didn't experience <laughs> anything there, but there <laughs> might, might be. Who knows? Yeah. Right. Right. And, okay, so... I know you also worked at one point you had a fellow who I'm pretty familiar with in, in the band uh, years ago, Jay Reynolds. It was, you know, who worked with Malice and stuff like that. And in, I right. think in Megadeth for a brief period of time, too. Yeah. Uh, how did you connect with Jay and, and stuff? And what was it like working with him for that period well, he, of time on those records? When I was putting the band back together in the early 2000s, I can't remember how he did get into I think it just. Somehow it leaked out. It was somewhere like the beginnings of the internet. Somehow mm. it leaked out. I, you know, to tell you the truth, I can't remember how he got in touch with me. He just slipped in. He just showed up one day and he's like, I'm I in kinda, the band. Well, yeah. I mean, there was obviously something right. we talked about, but I think, but I don't, it just made sense at that time too. Yeah. Because you know? he yeah. had his pedigree and his history, you know, mm -hmm. from Portland, you yeah. know, and just, it was like, yeah, okay. So, I mean, it was great until there, there became some problems and things later, but now that's all sorted out and we're uh, still friends and all that kind of thing. But it, it it was a good fit at the time. For yourself. I mean, I know you've gone through, you know, uh, your fair share of lineup shifts, changes and stuff like that. I mean, yeah. for the most part, do you try to keep it friendly as, you know, people absolutely. You know, depart and stuff? I mean, absolutely. There's okay. no point in me doing the he said, she said stuff. There's no point in that, you know. And if there is a reason, you know, the, a lot of the personal stuff I would like to, if at all possible, just keep, you know, within the band. There's no reason, especially with the Internet now, with social media and, you know, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I just. I just, right. if I can keep a lid on all the personal stuff and the, you know, pointing finger stuff and the, right. you know, online fighting and all that kind of stuff that you see a lot. I, if I yeah. can avoid it, I will. Sure. Cost, Cause it just doesn't, it's not a good look. You it's know? almost like a, like a high school, junior high school. Absolutely. <laughs> type yeah. stuff. I exactly. just got a couple more things and then I'll cut you loose. Uh, thanks for, for doing this. Oh, uh, sure. You know, this is going to be on, we go to 11. And so as you know, going nice. to 11 has a spinal tappy type vibe. Do I, have you ever had a spinal tappy type moment that stands out in your mind? Every day. Oh, <laughs> every day. Every day, day? Every day a... in the music business, especially if you're in, in a band and you're on the road or you're out doing gigs every day <laughs> mm. <laughs> one way or another. And the fact that that term has existed for so long mm -hmm. and every musician now it's just part of the vernacular. That was a spinal tap moment. You know, it's not, yeah. even, it's just, it's part of the vernacular. Right. It is. Yeah. So, every day. Yeah. So, so I, I got to correct myself because I did get the title wrong and I should yeah. You know, spank myself for that but it, it's annihilation not abomination yeah. so congregation yeah. of annihilation that's out on rot pack records we'll put the link on here but before i cut you loose i got a couple uh more things and it's actually just one but uh in in a word describe mike howell david wing and now your new guy mark lopes uh one mike word howell. for each uh friend mike how friend um david wayne innovator um mark lopes that's a really good question i've never really thought about that mark lopes i don't know if it's one word mm -hmm. but flag carrier flag carrier there you go yeah. so he, ke yeah. he keeps the tradition on moving yeah. forward oh yeah. man hey man thank you for your time it, it was a blast oh, my pleasure. great talking to you hope to you do too. it again love the folks at rap pack man i'll try to pick up anything that they put out because it's top-notch nice. stuff and Terrific. and mm -hmm. this record picks up right where the last record left off and the killer crushing riffs and sound of metal church Ooh, a, little heavier, a little yeah, heavier, a little heavier. You, know, that, you yeah. can always go a little heavier. That 
Just yeah. let, let's not. Just, I don't want to see a black metal version of Metal Church. <laughs> there, there won't be. <laughs> there won't ever be. Yeah. All right, man. Hey, thank you for your time. We'll get the link out My to pleasure. you and the folks at Rat Pack. And uh, best to you. Safe travels and see you in Portland. Terrific. Thanks so much. All right, man. Take, Take care. care, man. See so, ya. Bye.